welcome to a wet and pretty miserable Vilnius, Lithuania. Um, I'm heading now to Gediminas Castle Tower. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it says it's open on a Sunday, so I'm going to go and have a walk around there and do a tour. I've not really done too much today. Um, had a pretty late night last night. So I did a, um, a tour in a prison that only closed down about four years ago. Um, Unfortunately, I couldn't film inside. They didn't allow you to take any photos or video or anything. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, yeah, there's no no footage of that one. But I didn't get back until just got midnight, um, and I'd had a few beers, so my head was a little bit sore this morning. But I'm feeling better now, and I'm on my walk on my way to the castle tower. So I've always, almost made it to the castle. But at the moment, I can't actually get there because if I turn the camera around, there's some kind of marathon going on or fun run. And that is the direction I need to go. I can see the castle in the background now. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but I can't get across the road without looking into anybody. So I'm just sort of loitering around here at the moment, waiting for them to pass, however long that takes. Um, yeah, I can't really do much, so I'm just going to hang around and make my way as soon as I can. So, sod to all, I wasn't filming at the time, but I found a gap in the runners, so I just took my opportunity and ran through. But I'm now probably on my way to the castle in Vilnius, um, which is actually here when we get past this tree. Just at the top of that hill. Now, I'm not 100% sure how to get there. I think I need to follow this path here around. Um, but yeah, I had a look. You can go inside. So, I'm going to make my way to the top of the hill, pay the entrance fee, and see what's in there. It's a lot bigger than the one I did in the previous video in Kronos. There wasn't much left of that one, it had uh, all been sort of demolished. Uh, during previous battles and stuff, but this one looks a little bit more intact and a bit bigger um, But yeah, here is the map of it. So I'm going into this which is the tower So Google Maps actually says that this place is open every day until 8 p.m. But I'm coming up to the gates now And it actually looks locked <laughs> Yeah, so that way's locked. I'm hoping I can. I'm hoping I can loop around the other way here, and hopefully sort of come back up this side. Um, but it said that there's some construction work going on on that path there, so you're not allowed in. Um, again, I'm not sure if there, if it's the construction all the way up to the castle. I can't actually see anybody in the tower. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go and find another route and hope I can get in. So it turns out I'm actually quite glad that that path was shut, um, that we were just at then, because I've just seen in the distance there, there's like an um, electric sort of railway thing. I don't know what the name of it would be, um, but it saves me walking to the top. So I think you can actually just get that straight up. Um, and then into the tower there. So let's go and find out. So I made it here to the, um, I think they're called the Necula Railway. Something's telling me that for it anyway. Um, but yeah, so I can either walk all the way around or I can just catch this straight to the top. I'm not sure how much it is, but I'm just gonna go and find the ticket office there. I'm gonna go find out. Okay. Can I have one to go up, please? One way? Uh, as you return, please. Up and down. Up and down, please, thank you. Can I pick card? Okay. Achoo. Achoo. 
So I got the word wrong, it's actually funicular, not vernacular. But let's make our way through. Uh, ah, that's you. It's a good job you told me that because I would have been waiting here all day otherwise. Look, there's a button, a bit like on a lift door, to, to cool the, the thing down. Well, I think it's probably on the way. Yeah, there it is. There we go. I got it to myself as well. So we are heading straight up that way. Look at that for a view. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but here is the, it's the main river that runs through uh, Vilnius here. Um, and there's some huge high rises. I haven't seen them yet, actually. There, look, there's the walk that I would have had to take all up through these wooden steps here. Yeah. Which, if I'm being honest, I'm glad I didn't take because I got a return ticket here, so I can take this straight back down. And we've made it. So I'm now going to try and find the ticket office for the actual tower, which is here in front of me. Apparently it's a, it is a museum that you can go inside, so yeah, I'm just going to go and take some photos of the view first, and then try and head inside. So I found the entrance door to the museum, I'm not sure if it's open now, but I do that. Six euros to get in. Okay. So okay. Can I have one ticket, please? Can I pay card? So it looks like an original suit of armor here. Take this way, yeah. crossbow that would have been used here when it was a working castle. We've also got this spectacular view. I think this is some kind of um, governmental building or something I think. So 
it looks like this here is taking you through a tour of how it would have looked all those years ago. So I missed the beginning of that video, but I think it was um, it was to do with the human chain that happened here. Well, actually, I think it was across all three of the Baltic states. Um, so Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia. Um, in 1989, and I think it was a protest against the, the USSR, the Soviet Union. Um, and it went on for 430 miles of people just holding hands, creating the chain in a protest. Um, and it seemed to work. Because not long after, um, obviously, the Soviet Union fell. So let's go up one more floor. I know here we have, I think this was the attack on the TV tower. Yeah, the television tower. In which I believe, from what someone told me, young girls actually ran over by a tank by the Russians. They, they came to attack the TV tower. Um, I think so the Lithuanians couldn't send out messages. But yeah, the, the, um, the Soviet Union actually killed a young girl by running her over in a tank. Um, and I know many people went up there to fight, to, to see off the Russians. Um, and I believe like 40 people died or something along these lines. I'll have to check that one, I'm not too sure. Um, but a friend of mine who was Lithuanian was telling me that his dad was one of them that, that went there to fight to, to see off the Russians to protect their TV tower. Um, and luckily he survived, he was one of the lucky ones. Um, but obviously many, many weren't so lucky. So I'm now going to head up another, one more floor. Um, I'm not sure if there's another sort of part of the museum on the next level, or if it's the observation deck on top of the tower. Um, but let's go and find out. Just look at this stuff, spiral staircase here. Yeah, so we're coming out onto the observation deck. where we get a 360 degree panoramic view of the capital city of Lithuania, Vilnius. Now I think this area here, well I think all of this sort of section is the old time with the, the old red roofs. Um, there's obviously a forested area here with some kind of monument that I would like to go to actually, if I've got the time. And then I think on this side, is where you hit the more modern, the more modern part of the city, with the high rises as I, as we saw earlier. So I'm going to head back down the spiral staircase now. I've seen pretty much everything there is to see. I think um, I'm going to make sure I've not missed any sort of rooms or anything on my way down. I don't think I have, but you never know. It could be a little door that I've missed for another part of the museum or something. Oh, there's a push door. Achoo. So 
so yeah, there was no more hidden rooms or anything there. Um, I'd seen everything inside. It's um, it's a really interesting place to go there. Full of old, you know, ancient art artifacts and stuff, cannonballs and crossbows and arrows and swords. Um, so if you're ever in Vilnius, I 100% recommend coming here. Um, you won't regret it, it's really interesting. But apart from the tower, there's not much else to see apart from the grounds here. Um, there's obviously another old part of the castle here, but it's all fenced off, so I can't go much further past this point. So, I'm probably going to end this video here now. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. See you in the next one.